This is the figure from the bicycle, and I'm going to show you how I make it, starting from the leg joint. So the first thing to do is trace the top part of the leg down. It's important to remember to mark this pivot hole first. This arc needs to be quite accurate, and the best way to do this is to put your compass on your main drawing, get the right radius, and then draw a circle using the point you previously marked. The next thing to do on the legs is to cut two slots for this tin piece to fit into. The next thing I need to do on the knee joint is to drill a hole here so that I can pass a rod through the hole, through the hinge, and back through the leg. This needs to be a tight fit so that when the rod's cut to the right length, it won't slip out. The next thing to do is to mark out the hinge. I'm using a piece of thin tin that can be quite easily cut with normal scissors. If you cover the tin with masking tape first, it makes it easier to see the line you've drawn. Then put the lower part of the leg here. I'm using a thinner piece of wire than this piece. Make a small mark for the centre of the lower leg part. Then draw a small circle around that point and back to the mark you first drew. You now need to drill a hole here, which should be a loose fit against the rod that will pass through the leg. And clean up the edges of the hole with a file. Just check against the leg to make sure you've got the piece the right way up. And I'm just going to do a test fit to make sure it's all OK. Take the pods and parts of the leg off and just add some more glue. It soaks into the wood quite well, so it doesn't leave any kind of a mark. And that should be strong enough to hold the hinge in place once it's set. To give the leg more shape, I've sanded away some areas and carved others. The body's made from two thicknesses of wood. The side pieces look slightly thicker, and the front and back is made from this very thin plywood, which can be easily bent and moulded to shape. To make the head, I cut the profile out of a piece of wood and then carved and sanded. The nose and ears were stuck on later. The neck is made from a spring, which will allow the head to wobble as the bike moves from side to side. I've drilled a small hole in this piece, which fits between the two legs. This will locate the figure on the saddle. The springs in the saddle will give extra movement to the body, as the legs push up and down on the pedals. I also want to get more movement in the foot, it's just hanging down at the moment. So I think if I put a peg in the knee joint and restrict the movement of the lower leg, I should be able to get the foot to kick up as it comes to the bottom of the pedal. I've put my pin in the knee joint, but it's actually just made the foot flip up in the air and there's still no movement in the foot. But I think if I put another pin down about here, it should just stop the foot rising up too far and make it flick forward again. Right. Now I've put the whole thing loosely together and I know it's going to work OK. What I have to do now is take it all to bits and paint the figure and polish the bike. I may add a few extra details as well, such as mudguards and headlamps.